Hello and welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your friends and your family. So together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Acts chapter 21 verse 10 to 13. During a stay of several days, Agabus, a prophet from Judea, came to visit us as a prophetic gesture. He took Paul's belt and he tied his hand and feet with, with it as he prophesied. The Holy Spirit says, the one who owns this belt will be tied up in this same manner by the Jews and they will hand him over to those who are not Jews. When we heard this, both we and the believers of Caesarea begged Paul not to go to Jerusalem. But Paul replied, Why do you cry and break my heart with your tears? Don't you know that I'm prepared not only to be imprisoned, but to die in Jerusalem for the sake of the wonder of the name of our Lord Jesus. The people heard what Paul knew was going to happen to him. Everyone, everyone wanted Paul not to go. They loved Paul and did not want to lose him. Paul was a man that people feared but because became a man loved by the believers for the truth, the good news, the gospel he taught. He did not want them to cry for him because he knew whatever happened to him, it would be for the Lord Jesus. Let our life until our death be for the glory of the Lord. Tell others of Jesus. Tell them the good news of the gospel. Let people see the change that is to be when Jesus is part of you. Now, Lord, I just want to pray right now. This is especially for believers in Jesus that accepted his death and resurrection, that believe he is the Son of God, that as he became a part of them, there should be change in their life for others, where as Paul was hated and became loved. People should have see a change in our life because of what we say and what we tell others of the good news, the gospel, the truth that Jesus is the Son of God who came to save them of their sins and offers them repentance. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you this opportunity right now to pray with me the prayer of salvation. If you believe that Jesus is God, that he died for you on the cross, for your sins, you can confess your sins and ask for forgiveness. Just repeat after me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. 
I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, you prayed that prayer. I want to encourage you not just to, to stop at accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but to follow Him. Pray daily and read the Word of God. In the Word of God, it teaches us how to live the life we are to live, pure, holy, and sinless.